So we have um, what's this? Whiskey, Scotch whiskey. So we are preparing for our ASM episode, and <laughs> <laughs> I have one one over there, but it's finished. Oh, I asked her if we wanted to have some drinks, and <laughs> she's like, "Let oh, me pull out my box of wine," and she pulls up this Russian vodka and rum. <laughs> Oh it's, not, it's not mine it's not mine, it's just, it's not mine. <laughs> wait you're recording already <laughs> yeah oh my god so you got that all of you <laughs> it's like, embarrassing no. <laughs> okay okay i mean we're we're not cheersing so it's fine okay it's a sober conversation yeah should it be we're gonna talk about should it uh, what should it be though sure i mean it's up to you. I'm down for day drinking if you are. <laughs> okay, I'm down. Let me go grab grab a little bottle. Be right back. Bro, are you serious? It's like it's like midday here. I need to drive later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it got me excited. <laughs> it's so silly. We're going to talk about how it, Chinese people specifically address elders, which is a really interesting topic. Mm-hmm. So we have What do we have? We have a lot of ways to address, especially if you're relatives, there's many different ways to address people within your family. So do you have any examples of this? Yeah, so I know there's uh, for auntie, auntie, it's like, do you have any other ways you guys call them? Auntie, uncle? I don't know. There's just so many different ways, like depending on which side of the family, your mom's side of the family, your dad's side of the family, or older auntie or younger auntie, you know, like older than your parents' older sibling or your parents' younger sibling. There's just so many different ways that you address. Grandpa. Yeah, so there's your grandparents on your mom's side or your grandparents on your dad's side. What do you call in your... Because even within Chinese culture, there's different ways to call it. There's so what many you... different ways. Like, like with No, everything. but you specifically, your family my side uh let me think what do i call it? like my auntie i call them like ima and then yeah or like uncle it's like ifu but that's like my mom's younger sister and then what about um grandparents um usually like oh we have like this like how do you say it? like slang so uh-huh. like abu ako you know what i mean oh uh-huh. i think a lot of ta- taiwanese people say it like that yeah ako? yeah and then i I don't know, like for you, what do you usually say? Yeah, I mean, I have like cuckoos, I have kumas, I have imas, I have ees. E is like auntie. Like auntie yeah, e is your uh, let me think. Your your mom's younger sister is a e. Yeah. Oh wait. From from my side. Right. Okay, because you come from like a canto. No. From yeah. Like- Kento background, yeah. So Yima and Yi is like Cantonese. And then my dad's side is Mandarin. So we have Kuku, Kuma. I don't really have any. Oh, yeah, my uncle's is uh, my Cantonese side is Kao Fu. Kao Fu? Kao Fu is a. It's a food. I um, love eating it. It's like wheat glutton. Huh? <laughs> there's a thing. Yeah. Kao Fu, Shanghai Kao Fu. And there's like. Oh, Kao Fu. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's so good. <laughs> You love eating uncles? That's disgusting, Christina. <laughs> oh my god. So kao fu is Cantonese. Okay, okay. I don't know how to translate that. Like, kao fu, I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, that's a bad word if you say K-A-O in Chinese. Did you know? Yeah, like, well, kao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like equivalent to F U. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's interesting. Like, I don't know if you've had this um, dilemma before, but when I was little, I went to like an Asian household. When I go in, I'm always like, oh, shoot. Like, what did I call them? Do I call them like, ai hao, you know? But they're like, excuse me, we're like Americanized here. Like, you're supposed to call me like Miss, like Miss. Yeah. Yeah, or some of them are on another level where you have to say their name, like, hi, Brianna or something. Like, oh, that. You just, I mean, I guess that's why, like, I know you told me before you have the habit of kind of not like, calling people by their name. Yeah. I think I'm like that too because I kind of have a phobia with like yeah, yeah. like do I be extra polite will they be offended or do I just call them by the name but will that be offensive as well you know what I mean oh my goodness and then sometimes you kind of just have to ask I guess like because especially when you go to your Asian friend's house addressing their parents is really hard because in if you're like a westernized Asian household usually you would call like the mom you call them auntie 
I was like, maybe even your Western parents' friends' house. Like, no, even my Western parents' friends' house, I wouldn't call them auntie. I would just call them by their name and they're all chill. But with Asians, yeah, with Asians, it's different. So like when you go to the house and you're kind of like guessing whether you should call them auntie or not, it's like, oh, will you be offended if I call you auntie? Because I know personally, my mom gets a bit offended when my friends call her auntie. She's like, I'm not that old. I shouldn't be called auntie. I'm like, mom, what are they meant to call you? Like, logically, come on. Like, no, sis? I mean, I'm even offended. Like, um, this new girl came in, like, for work, right? She's, like, three. And then the mom was like, oh, yeah, say thank you, auntie, or whatever. I'm like, oh, my God, am I that old, you know? Because I've always been known as an older sister. But like a sister, right? Auntie. Yeah. But if you think of it realistically, then, yes, I could be an auntie, right? Because like, I have younger cousins that are, like, baby, baby. Yeah. And then they call me, like, auntie, and I'm like, oh, but... I mean, I don't really care, personally, because it's, like... It's just like a name, but yeah. I guess some people do get offended. <laughs> oh, me? <laughs> no, it's, it's a hard. very extreme level for me too. Like, um, even at work, right? Because I deal with students' parents, and like, you know, realistically, I should be calling them by their name, right? But then it's like I feel weird because of the Asian traditions. But I can't call them like auntie either because I'm like an adult, right? Call them the name. Who even cares? Just be like, hey. So I call them the kid's mom. I'm always like, oh, like so and so's mom, so and so's mom. And then like one time, this parent was like, oh yeah, by the way, this is Karen. And I'm like, oh, oops. Like I guess she wants, you know what I mean? Yeah, she probably thinks that you forgot. They probably think that you forgot their names. Yeah, no, I just want to be rude, you know, because it's like. But I mean, like, why is it rude if you think about it? It's like it is my name right and we are in America we're not in like Asia so if it like I but it's still yeah I understand it's like a form of respect which is really weird because in Australia like in schools and stuff we have the our culture is to just call everyone by their name even in school I don't know if it's the same for you guys but even in school and university we call all teachers by their first name oh wow yeah like we don't say like Mr last name we say we just call them like like yeah. hey Jim <laughs> I wonder for like if you went to Chinese school, right? Like, would it be the same? I don't know because I did. I never went to Chinese school. I should ask my friend Phelan yesterday. He said he went to Chinese school when he was younger. <laughs> yes, I'm curious. I want to know. You know, in like different parts of the world. I think we've chatted with this with um, Iman or someone. Do you remember? Like about the yeah. how we call people, like our um, elders and stuff. Yeah, so I'm really curious on other parts of the world how it's like. Yeah, we should ask someone else that's yeah. from a different culture. Yeah, but yeah, I think um, this was our little talk about our struggles as Asians and how to call people by their names or, <laughs> you know, how to call them politely. But, yeah. Yeah. Let us Hope know you can... how you saw this dilemma. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have any uh, interesting ways that, you know, you address elders. Maybe even the people younger than you, let us know. We'd be interested. Yeah. Oh, do you have this thing where like your older cousins, do you call them like, like even people who aren't your immediate siblings, do you call them like sister and brother in Mandarin? Like, I don't know. I just don't like call it. I know it's like rude, but I don't like calling people by their name. You know what I mean? But do you call your older like cousins or like, you know, family members that are older than you or younger than you? Do you call them like or like Titi and stuff? because I don't I'm not really in touch with them since they're in Asia but would you I mean like I think I have to right like I just say like their name like blah 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 go go how you know because I'm pretty uh, like my mom would like force me to yeah well, that's yeah. so interesting no, but oh my god okay this is another thing I need to talk about like going into it I don't know if you've had to struggle but sometimes like for example you know chow mian right it's like yeah. you know the name is chow mian but then you talk to someone oh yeah yeah, like in Panda Express. I don't know if you have Panda Express there. But you have to say like, oh, I want the chow mein. You know, like. Yeah, yeah. Or else they don't understand you, right? Or like if I have um, like kids with like Chinese names and stuff, right? I know their real name. You know what I mean? But then like other people call them by this like very whitewashed, you know, version. Oh of my them. God, yeah. And then I'm like, oh my God, like, am I gonna, you know, should I say the whitewashed version or the, you know, real version? Do you have a struggle with pe like kids who have, not even kids, but like peers or like just people in general who have Chinese names and you don't know what the tone is and you don't, like, no. you don't want to call them wrong, like the wrong tone? Because it freaks me out when I see someone with a Chinese name and I'm like, oh my God, like, I do not know, like, like your name is Jenny, right? I don't know if you're Jenny or... Yeah. Jenny or like 
skinny or you know what I mean like there's so many tones right it's like yeah I, I freak out when I hear when I see people oh, with really? Chinese names yeah no, I freak out because I'm like oh my god like am I gonna say the American version or the Chinese version you know and then I hear like all the teachers say the Chinese version and then all the kids are saying the American version I'm like oh my god and then and I just don't say names I'm just like you you <laughs> I'm like you know what that's the easy route I've gone through my whole life I know it's a rude route but like it's the safe route yeah because like how do you it's so hard to like let's say with my name right j-i-a-w-e-n how would you pronounce it jowen but does that tone come naturally to you because in my mind all i'm thinking is is it jowen oh jowen like (laughs) there's so many tones in my mind and i'm just like like i don't know like i have anxiety like what do i call you then in the end I, i'm like you i'll just like i won't even say anything right? like, yeah i think we just need like dumb anxieties you know like yeah. unnecessary. Like, okay. i don't want to get people's name wrong yeah. especially if you've known them for like more than once right and they've introduced yeah. themselves to you and you can't remember yeah. how to say their name or like you can't address them and then you're just like hey friend yeah yeah but I want oh that's why you always say hey friend i think we talked about this like for you you say hey friend i'm like i'm just like you <laughs> yeah I'm always like hey friend hey mate (laughs) oh my gosh I wonder like if a lot of others struggle like us yeah maybe it's just the us thing yeah maybe that's why we're friends because we're weirdos (laughs) Uh, mutual 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 love for not calling people by their name yeah okay all right okay cool yeah let us know what you guys do you know in this weird uh, naming situation as well I would like to get some perspectives maybe some tips about how to be more polite and how to get names right yeah (laughs) all right thank you everybody for watching stay tuned for our next episode